so in the last video we had built this beautiful slider you can easily able to drag and drop this slider you can click and you can slide both on the right hand side on the and on the left hand side and in this video we're going to build this this brand section okay so let's come back to the code and you know the drill what we have to do simply create the folder so we'll call it brand copy and we have to create the gsx file dot gsx and we have to create the css file as well module dot css so let's close this one and come back to the brand dot gsx and we have to create this rafce reacts functional based component and now we have to import the css file so internal import and this will call style and that's coming from the same directory okay that's the brand import let's come back to this component index file and here we're going to import that component so we'll call it import brand and that's coming from the brand okay brand copy this one and simply we have to export this one so that's the import and export now go to this index.js file and here we need to import that component and that's what we have to do here we have to call that component so in this way we can easily able to display the component in our home page okay so simply close this one and save it let's come back to the application go back here and here you can see we have this brand so things are working fine we don't have any errors let's come down and now we can start working on the brand.jsx so we're going to import a couple of things so first thing is going to be the image we'll come down we'll import the images that's coming from the image folder okay we'll come down we're going to import the button and that's coming from that's that component slash component index we have to wrap this inside this bracket okay so this is the button component we have and now we can start working on the jsx okay so we're going to instantly return we'll have a div it will have a class called style brand and that we're going to have another div it will class have a class called style brand dash box and that will have this div it will have a class called style brand box left and we'll replicate that this will call right okay and this we're going to call data image and we have to provide the source we have inside this image folder logo and we'll call it all tag is going to be a brand logo width is going to be let's say 100 percent 100 and width is going height is going to be 100 okay so that's the image we have now let's come down We'll take this h1 and let's come back to the original one and simply copy this text and paste here simply come here we're going to take this paragraph and come here and simply copy and paste here okay so that's what we have here now let's come down we will take a div it will have a class called style and we'll say brand box left button and that we're going to take this button our dynamic component and button name is going to be let's say the props we have to send create and it will have a function called handle click and for the time being we'll have empty and this will become the let's say discover so this is the button component we have let's come down and here you can see we have the title button and description so this is working fine so now what we can do it let's come on the right hand side and we have to take the image we have to assign the source which is inside the image folder and dot on okay so background on so let's come here go to this image folder and inside the image folder you will find that we have this image er under png but we haven't imported that we have to first import this file eon from png and now we have to export it okay so let's do here so in that way we can easily able to receive here and we can call it let's assign the alt tag as will become the let's say brand logo and we can call it width is going to be um, let's add a width to 800 and height is going to be let's say 600 so that's the image we have let's save it let's come back to the application and here you can see we have the image and we have the buttons and titles and logo so let's come back here and go to the css file and let's start working on the css so we're going to target that first we're going to target the brand and width is going to be 100 percent margin top is going to be 10 ram margin bottom is going to be 7 ram brand box width is going to be 80 percent margin zero auto and display is going to be grid grid template column repeat let's say 
1.5 fr and let's 2 fr okay we'll have a gap to 5 ram and a line item is going to be centered that's how it will look let's come down we'll take the brand box left and h we'll target the font size is going to be 5 ram and line height is going to be 1 font width is going to be bolder that's how it will look let's come down we're going to target the brand box left paragraph and font size is going to be 1.3 ram and margin top is going to be minus 2 ram so that's how it will look pretty good let's come down we're going to target the brand box left btn and display is going to be flex align item is going to be center and gap is going to be 3 ram and margin top is going to be 3 ram so that's pretty good let's come down take a media query and max width is going to be let's say 35 em we're going to target the box brand box and we'll say grid template column one fr on the mobile device and we'll target the brand box left h1 and we'll say font size is going to be 2.5 ram brand box left paragraph will say margin top is going to be minus 0.5 ram so that's how it will look pretty good okay looking great so and it's responsive as well make it on a full screen this is how it will look we have the logo we have the heading we have the titles we have the buttons so things are looking good so let's come here and and here you can see we have the difference here because we are using different font we're definitely going to change the font of this application right now we are using pop in but we're going to use latin okay so the font i'm not going to change right now we'll do it later okay so let's come here and we're going to make it four and now you can see this is how it will look so this is how it will look let's come back and let's make it to one uh let's make it 1.5 so we have too much let's make it to three and let's make it five okay so this is how it look we're going to change the font because we're going to use different font right now we are using font poppings but we're going to use latin okay so just follow along with me whatever i'm doing okay so here we are done with this okay and let's come here looking good so this is the right section this is the left sections let's close this one close this one so finally we are done with this part and let me push this code to get up okay so let's do it very quickly so we'll type let's say delete this get up file and we're going to push this code to get up so we'll type get in it get add dot this will add all the files let's come back to the open the browser and type get up this is my repo click on new let's call it nft marketplace and we'll call its brand hit enter simply run this command so first we have to do is to commit copy this branch hit enter copy the link hit enter and copy the push hit enter <clears throat> so this will take a little bit of time to upload the entire code to get up so just wait so the loading is completed let's come back reload the browser and here you can able to find the code in the component and brand so everything's working fine so we are done with this sections okay in the next section we're going to build this video component okay so let's come back to the code and clear the terminal bring this down so i hope you have enjoyed let's move to the next video where we're going to design the video component